Well, hello everyone, it's Rose, and I am just about to do an unboxing of the A2 size light pad that I bought from Amazon. So let's get into it. This is humongous, but if it's anything like most Amazon stuff, uh, it's a lot more box than light pad. So let's just see. I can just slide it out. Yes, it's a lot more box than it is light pad. But even so, this is a heck of a lot of light pad. So let's see here. And both of these boxes I think I'll keep because they're good for storing canvases or finished diamond paintings or whatever. So, um, there we go. Don't have to put it in the recycling. All right. Whoops. Okay. So let's see what we have. Um, so it's got the, it's very faint printing but uh, it essentially tells you the height and width of the different sizes. This is the A2, this is the A3, this is the A4. So, the company that na uh, manufactures it is called Niwer. You can look this up on Amazon and you'll get a bunch of their products. And if you do Niwer and light pad, you'll get the light pad. I'll also include a link uh, in the description down below this video. Okay, so one of the things that I um, chose this light pad for is uh, it's not a USB light pad. It actually connects um, to a uh, outlet. And I mean, there's good and bad about that. Uh, the nice thing about a, a light pad that's USB is you can get a USB charger and um, like one of the portable uh, power banks and use it anywhere. But this thing's too big to be, you know, taken on the road with me or anything like that. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm just as happy to have uh, it plug in. And it comes very well protected with the foam wrapper. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's huge. It's huge. Okay, and the other thing that I liked about this one is that that cord actually connects to this little dongle thing here. And it is connected directly into the light pad. So I don't know about you with your smaller light pads, but what I've been finding is I use my light pads so much and I travel with them and you know, I'm always moving them around underneath my diamond paintings because they're too small. So um, just putting the uh, USB in and out of them uh, tends to eventually ruin the, uh, the outlet, the USB outlet here. Um, well, not here, but on the side of the light box. And so you end up have, having to um, get a new light pad which is one of the reasons that I'm getting this one. So uh, this is big. Uh, so the working surface is a little bit bigger than 32 centimeters and 52 centimeters because there's about a half a centimeter on the edge here and along the top. Um, but let, let me get one of my A4 light pad or A3 light pads and lay it down so that you can see how much bigger it is. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this is the same make. No, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but it's very similar anyway. And if I line up the, well, let's do it this way. If I line up the light pad so that the lighted area covers, look at that. This thing is more than twice as big as an A4 light pad. That's fantastic. And uh, one of the things that I would have been concerned about 
with such a huge light pad is you know how bright these things can be and that can be hard on your eyes. Um, some of you might have seen my, you know, tour of all my stuff video and I go on at length about my silicone baking mats. And uh, another use for those baking mats would be like if you're working on a smaller diamond painting and it's just taking up, let's say, this much or this much of your light pad, you can cover the rest of the light pad in the silicone baking mats, silicone baking mats, and uh, you won't have that light um, blinding you. So, uh, so there you go. Okay. Um, I guess the next thing for me to do is to plug this in. And so for that, I'm going to set up on my work table. And the next time you see me, I will be working. Uh, I'll, I'll have it set up and connected and everything. And uh, I will do um, just a little bit with the uh, diamond painting that I'm working on right now so that you can see how it works. And I will put all of the cost information up on the screen here. I'll be back with you again very shortly. Okay, so I have my new A2 size light pad set up on my desk. And I have um, a 44 by 44 canvas, uh, that's the drill area, it's actually 50 by 50, set up on this light pad. And um, I've been, actually I've been using the light pad for probably about a week, week and a half since I unboxed it. Because I wanted to be able to tell you whether I liked it, hated it, you know, if there were any issues whatsoever about using this light pad. And I can tell you that I adore this light pad. It has three levels of brightness. Uh, and I am right now working with the middle level, which is good. So one of the things I really like about this is that it's not USB powered. This is too big for me to travel with, so there's not an issue of the convenience of having a USB powered light box or light pad to uh, be able to just stick in a bag and, and travel with. No, this one here, it has this connector and then this end has a regular plug that plugs into a socket, uh, not into a USB um, adapter. Uh, so what that means is that you're not going to get the jiggly connection problems that many of the smaller light pads that have a USB uh, cable that plugs directly into the side of the light box or the light pad have. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. I'm hoping that that will mean that I'll get a lot more life out of my light pad. Uh, I have one that uh, regularly sells for about $19.99 on Amazon and you know various other websites. And the the light pad works fine, except that the connection for the USB on on the edge uh, has like it's just it's stretched or I don't know what you know the metal has come apart, so the connection is just not there anymore, and I have to jam something underneath the USB cable to to make sure that it's connecting properly. Anyway, it is a pain in the butt. This is not a pain in the butt, and it's a perfect size for this kind of diamond painting, this size. Um, when I'm working on my French peacock, which is underneath this diamond painting, what I do is, of course, I, slid, I slide the light pad underneath, and then I put one of my smaller A4 light pads off to the side here, beside it. So there is like a black strip, but it's only about five drills wide. And, and I can usually see that or I can just move the smaller light pad so that it does light those up for the period that I'm drilling those. Anyway, I love this light pad. Um, I'm very happy I bought it and I would recommend it to anybody who's looking to buy one. Now there is a newer version out that's available on Amazon.com. I bought this on Amazon.ca. The Amazon.com one costs an awful lot more, more money. Uh, I think it was about $109 Canadian, uh, like when I did the exchange. So it, uh, 
and and it was sold out when I went to check it out honestly because I was going to buy that one it was sold out so I got this one for uh, considerably less and I'm very happy with it and if I have issues with it going forward I will let you know in a future video and there you go I hope you found this review useful and uh, I, that you come back and visit with me again soon. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.